We're live. This is my buddy Dustin. He's the singer for Fist Fight. He's a badass. He just stopped by. So he's on camera. We got a switcher too, man. I can put you over here now. Watch. Wait. Oh, there you go. There you go. That's a cool view. That works. So you're stopping by, get some steam, you know, letting out some steam. It's good to run into my buddy Dustin upstairs, and I'm like, hey, why don't you come down and hang out with us? So. We, we love the Fist Fight family, everybody in that family, especially John. John's technically still on the on the payroll, I think. He's like, he put in his notice or whatever, and or something like that. He, he's just he's just John. So, but he's he's you know you guys are our family. So, that's pretty much it. What's going on with Fist Fight, dude? Uh, you guys you guys are badass. We're getting hats. Hat. Gonna say Fist Fight in a minute. Gonna have the album cover right here. Oh, very cool. Symbol on the back. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. We're getting new, new hoodies. My, my fist fight t-shirt is completely worn out, man. Like, I've worn the shit out of it. I, I think the moths got a hold of it, or it's just... I need a new fist fight t-shirt. We'll get you one. So, we'll and I'll rep it with pride, man. I'll rep it rep with pride. You guys are playing a show here in the near future, right? I think I saw something. We're going to play on uh, the 13th at Cheers, Friday the 13th. Here, use that mic that's down there. Sorry, man. I don't know if it's picking up. This one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I better? Yeah, this is Dustin with Fist Fight. Yo. For those of you who couldn't hear that, I might have to trim off that first part, man. <laughs> but we were, you know, Dustin's a fellow motorcycle enthusiast, fellow front man, fellow uh, pro Hermans. He's uh, a badass. Their band's called Fist Fight. They got some new merch coming. They're, uh, and then where are you playing? At Cheers. At Cheers. Friday okay. the 13th. We're playing with what day uh, is that? Friday the 13th. Yeah. Okay. That's a <laughs> conflict of interest with my show. I'm we sorry, need to have like dude. town meetings, dude, when there's like rock shows. I know. That way we don't book it the same night. Uh, King Rat and Rena Divorce are the same night, right down the street from one another. Like oh, one's man. at Three Kings, one's at. I shouldn't even be giving it any love. I mean, I like Three Kings. I like Aaron. Yeah. I'm actually, I might actually head there tonight yeah. to check out Adrian from uh, Hell's Bells, her, her project. Uh, uh, Adrian. And uh, I've see. seen Hell's Bells a couple times. Yeah, Adrian's a badass, and I feel like a total prick for not remembering her her it's band. Okay, that's why you have a computer and a phone. Yeah, I <laughs> can look it up, bro. Let's talk fist fight. All right, fist fight. New merch, shows, radio interviews. We got uh, we got sent out to uh, we got submitted to four hundred magazines, e-zines, radio stations, and we've had. Uh, I don't remember how many pickups we've had so far, but it's it's just constant. Every day we're getting an email saying, all right, these guys picked you up. They're going to play you. Very they're, cool. They're playing uh, Voice of Reason, Snitch, and uh, Break Something, of course. Yeah. They, I mean, that's you guys are super tight, man. The last time I saw you, I mean, it's hard not to get into that that groove, dude. The drummer's amazing. Yeah. You guys have the whole crew, dude, watching John play, you know, just like everybody's kick ass, you know. It's fun, man. Thank yeah. you. We love playing here. Yeah. You guys stomp, dude. We the sound it. is like the sound is built for a band like yours that appreciates good tones. You know, it's tight. Yeah. It's metal, dude. It's fucking metal. Yeah. I mean, you guys are hardcore. I mean, you guys have some balls, man. Thank we need you. to ride motorcycles together. Yeah, dude. What are you doing that day? Friday the thirteenth during the day. Work. Work. Yeah. All right. Oh no, I'm on vacation. Are you? Yeah, I'll be back. We're going to go to DIA and, and hang out with Ricky Rackman that day. I mean, I know you have your own show to go to. You guys are one of my one of my faves, man. And and I'm not going to be at your show because I'm going to be here doing a show. But we can hang out. You know, we ride motorcycles. You're going to ride out there? Yeah, that's like, I don't think anybody's going to. I'm trying to keep a surprise. But Ricky Rackman, we're gonna, it's his birthday that weekend. He's coming in on the show. And we're going nice. to give him a motorcycle to ride in on. So, yeah, Pro Provided good. by Hogley. Hogley. Nice parts and service oh yeah i used to buy all my stuff out there yeah so i need to actually start slating my videos with that logo yeah. but i suck at this dude <laughs> it's all right. here we are love this man this is my it's, first it's time adrian in the sickness by the way yeah. let's ride the street tonight nice yeah she's badass i gotta what figure out what they time they go, go on? on yeah figure that out because i'm just out and about hanging out man yeah. i get bored i gotta do something well, you're, you're not gonna ride bitch I, Jamie rode bitch on my motorcycle and no guy will ever ride on the motorcycle with me I'm, ever no. and it was the the circumstance was very extenuating like he was <laughs> wasted it was four in the morning he's like Chris gonna c crash on your couch I'm like yeah sure that's cool so I kind of committed yeah. and I totally forgot man I went out in the back parking lot and there's my motorcycle and I just looked at him like dude I totally forgot so we rode bitch 
from here to Capitol Hill. Big ass Jamie, dude. He's, he's like your size, dude. dude. He's he's behind me, and I, my bike's not a big bike, dude. It's <laughs> it's a it's a modest fucking classic, uh, 750 triple. Yeah. So I'm on this thing, and like Jamie's on the back, and it's awkward looking, dude. And like we were rolling by, and he's like trying to fucking butt fuck. <laughs> so. Yeah, I, I couldn't it. have a dude on the back of mine, man. That just scares me. What's that? I couldn't have a dude on the back of mine. My seat's about that He's big. He's my boy, though. Like that's what I I was, that's my main, you know, freaking Jamie, Jamie Crow, dude. That's a great big dude. You can't live with him. You can't live without him. You know. <laughs> hey, I've got everybody's got a John Maggard in the band, bro. <laughs> so, so John Maggard's the equivalent of Jamie Crow Bartley. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, they asked me the other night. We did that radio interview with the Connecticut radio station and. Uh, they said, if you're on a desert island, who would you leave there? And I said, John Maggard. And like, <laughs> I didn't even take a second. Yeah, I just came. I said, John Maggard. And he goes, John why? Maggard. And I said, have you seen his head? He looks like Charlie Brown. Yeah, so, uh, you know, if nobody's there, the guy that's on the air is going to talk shit about hey, man, everybody else. That's what this is for, dude. This, that's what this is for. You came here to vent, to let off steam, dude. That's what I'm doing, essentially. And we're helping each other out, dude, because you're a good dude. And yeah, bro. Fist fight. We still need to get down to Alamosa and play that, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to get down there and stomp together. I agree, man. I agree. My dad's down there. We it's a cool it little My college dad, town. Your dad could sell tickets and we could get her done. I don't think he's, I think he, I don't know. I don't know if he's into the, to the metal tour. We could pre sell, though. I mean, yeah. he's got my back, but he's just kind of a different interests, shall we say. I'm going to figure it out. We need to get down there. But uh, yeah, I'll go down there, man. I'll, I'd love to see my dad, too, and so, kill two birds with one stone, man. We could do a world tour, do Pueblo. <laughs> world tour, starting in <laughs> And then Pueblo. Alamosa. What's that? We could do Pueblo and then... Pueblo and then Alamosa. <laughs> then we're hood rats. Yeah, dude. Then we can come back to the springs and they'll be like, oh, you guys stink. You guys, yeah. <laughs> Should be up in Greeley. <laughs> dude, when we played Alamosa last time, I played in... And I don't remember what band we took down there. Scapegoat, I think. It was a long time ago. There was 300 plus in that bar. Yeah. They like to jam down there, so. All right. Well, it sounds like a win-win to me, dude. We you know, it's just a matter it. of winning that works for everybody. Get her done. Can we, uh, if I get a crew, can we backline with you? Can we share gear or whatever? Yeah, and take dude. your trailer? I am mad about that. We actually have one, too. Dude, all the resources are right in front of you, you know. Usually, like, the only excuse is you or me. I'm, I should take responsibility for myself, man. That's I'm saying this for my, my own good. And anybody else who's listening, um... You know, there's a lot of resources, man. Yeah. So let's make the most of that. Let's do that, man. Uh, Alamosa, we're coming. We're coming. Fist fight and omniism. Gonna get That's her done. Right. Did you know uh, Jace Hill from Lost Point? He got fucking Jamie Crow Bartley and his dad for Firefall. You know, they're playing Firefall. Jamie's touring with his dad because Jamie's a great drummer. Yeah. And his dad's amazing. And they're a legendary band with like platinum albums. But they, Jace Hill, this isn't, oh, maybe I shouldn't be saying this. <laughs> this is leaking. This is leaking to the world. You're leaking it out, dude. I'm totally gossiping on the air. That's fine, dude. But he's playing with Firefall. Nice. That was what I didn't have a drum roll. I'm just like, bam, there it is. <laughs> Which is way cool, in my opinion, because Jace is badass. Oh yeah. They're yeah, all dude. badass. That's that's brilliant. That's brilliant. I'm just a little bit jelly. Yeah. I know. Dude. Kind of jelly that Jock gets to play, you know, and I don't get to be a part of that whole thing, you know. No, dude. Maybe maybe we'll book him here and they'll let me sing a song with him. Get up and tear it up, bro. Yeah. You thing. are the woman that I've always dreamed of. Bro. I knew it from the start. <laughs> you do, can do, do it, bro. Do, 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 that's the last No, that I takes me back. Saw of my heart. My Ooh. mom would play that. That and Credence. Credence? Yep. Yep. See, you're you're classifying Firefall with Credence, and you're not wrong in doing so. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's that's legendary cult, you know, like old school... 70s, you yeah. know, 80s. Like, they were big, man. That's what I was raised on. My mom would yeah. play that, and yeah. It's, it's good great. stuff, dude. Yeah, I was raised on raised on rock, bro. Hopefully I, I sang the right flipped. song. Like, oh, yeah, I just kind of threw that one out there. I think that's them. You Are the Woman. I hope so. They have another one, like, <laughs> huge, huge. Firefall's awesome, dude. Yeah, dude. Um, I did stage for them one time, accidentally. Just working for a festival, and they were there. And I was just doing general stage. I ended up being a, a roadie. Dude, so. Jock's a badass guitar player. Oh, yeah. Badass. Throws down. Yeah, man. So what's going on with you guys? You with, playing, and by you guys, you mean? Omniism. 
Omniism, uh, we got Casey Glass on drums right now at the moment. Yeah. Um, he's a powerhouse. He was in uh, Immortal Dominion. Oh, which, yeah. Which turned into uh, another animal. Yeah. Which, they're, yeah, they're badass. Cool dudes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's so low maintenance, man. Like, I feel bad because I'm not utilizing it any more than I am, but, but yeah, we hit it off. A low maintenance he, drummer? Yeah, dude. Got a job, got a truck. He's, <laughs> he's super cool, dude. Super cool. Yeah. So, he shows up, kicks ass. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not taking anything away from anybody else, but it's been a pleasure working with him. Yeah. But yeah, we're uh, we were gonna play the um, Westward Music Showcase, nice. and uh, the uh, Todd, our guitar player, is out of town. He leaves that day, yeah. so yeah, we're not doing that. Or, and I haven't even announced this to Dave Ferreira disrespectfully. I feel like it's such an asshole. I tried to call him, but um, I, I mean, I would do like an acoustic set at their thing. You know, I should just email him real quick. <laughs> Just remember, I love you. It's How gonna many songs be all right. Do? Do, 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 do. How Just many songs remember. did you do acoustically? What was I gonna look up? Dave Herrera. Oh yeah. Yeah, dude. Thank See? you. I'm emailing Dave Herrera. I'm a wealth of knowledge, dude. What's that? I'm a wealth of knowledge. You don't dude, need I have so much work to do. Me. It's it's really sad. I'm hanging out. I do it. You know, people have been stopping by, which is cool. You know. Yeah. Kind of burning the the midnight oil here. But dude, it's it's part of the job. Yeah, so, dude. why don't we play some fist fight? I'd love while it. I email Dave. Voice of Reason. You have that one? Let me see. I'm sure I do. That one's a sleeper, man. Like people grab it. I like it because, uh, yeah, it was a rough time in my life. Wrote those words in about eight minutes. Wrote them in eight minutes? Yeah. Sometimes you just sit down and write them, and they stick. I never changed them. Uh, that's his fight. You just uh, were listening to me, Chris Thomas, and Dustin from this fight. Rap for what's your last name, Dustin? Holmer. What is it? Holmer. Holmer. What does it say on Facebook? Dude, not that I'm on there all the time. It's like Dustin Facebook or uh, this fight. Dustin this fight. Dustin this fight. I'm in the, dude, I'm in the witness relocation program. Okay, that's a good answer. He's in the witness relocation program. That's, well, yeah. Here's their music, and they fucking kick ass. <laughs> <laughs> 